cognizant to the needs of our learners, parents, and teachers, the Department of Education provided us with powerful tools for productivity that will allow us to foster critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, communication and collaboration skills to be compassionate, responsible global citizens. Join us and discover new ideas in our series of professional development training program with the ICTS at Tech Unit and Microsoft Education Philippines. Together, we will equip our learners and empower our fellow educators for a dynamic future. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po, at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. All right, so good afternoon and welcome to Itulai online tutorial for the subject English 9. We are on our third quarter, week two, and our topic for this afternoon is sensory images used. Again, sensory images. So good afternoon po, nasaan man kayong panig ng bansa from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. I am, of course, your tutor, Jester, at your service, makakasama niyo po ako from 3 o'clock until 3.40 in this afternoon for English 9. And we are live and loud from the different Facebook and YouTube pages of the Department of Education. Okay? So let us begin now. Pero bago yan, syempre, let us first acknowledge our SDO Illegal City sa pag, uh, papagamit sa atin ng ating module for this afternoon. Thank you so much sa ating writer, si Ma Maria Consuelo Ristaro, Content and Language Evaluators, um, Margie Nadonza, and Sir Joseph Estrada Jr., and the rest of the development team of the module of SDO Elegant City. Maraming marami pong salamat. Okay, so, and our previous lesson noong, kung hindi ko nagkakamali, ay uh, March 22 hanggang March 26 we have discussed on English 9 itong elements of a play. We got the character, yung setting, yan, tandaan nyo pa, plot, yung conflict, suspense, and theme. These are important para makabuo ng magandang story. Kung wala isa dyan, syempre, kumbaga, kulang yung element ng ating nabuong story. Specifically, yung ating play, okay? And also, we have discussed what we call the synopsis. It's synopsis. Ano ba ang synopsis? Balikan natin. A synopsis is a brief a summary that gives audiences, tayo yon, yung mga viewers, yung at tayo mga reader, an idea of what a composition is about. Siyempre, mahalagang magkaroon ng synopsis specifically sa mga content creators and particularly yung content creator ng mga movies para magkaroon ng gist or idea ang mga readers or yung ating mga viewers, okay? So, kung kayo, in the near future, you will become a director, a filmmaker, make sure gawa kayo ng magandang synopsis, okay? All right, watching from uh, um, Diamantina National High School, it's Desiree Garcia Lagason. Thank you so much and the rest of our viewers for this afternoon. 
Now, let's proceed with our third quarter week two objective, okay? At the end of this session, you will be able to, number one, you are to identify the different sensory images being used in the text or in the article or any literary pieces. Two, you are to express literary appreciation. Mahalaga yan for sensory images used. Not only learning, but also appreciating. And third, you are to identify the different sensory images being used in the text. All right? Watching from SDO Isabella Padloria High School is Mamarisol Baterbonia. Good afternoon po. Now, balikan natin. Alam naman pa rin natin hanggang sa ngayon, of course, <laughs> ang ating uh, five senses. And we are always using that. And what are those? We got the, syempre, ang ating eyes. Yan, or eye, or eyes. Dalawa eh. Ayan. So we got our nose, our uh, tongue, our skin, and our ear. We will have it one by one later. Okay? From Dunya. Uh, Aurora National High School, Aseline Timoteo, good afternoon. So, para saan or what are sensory images? Ano bang purpose ng mga ito sa poetry, sa, litera sa literature? Ano bang dahilan kung bakit nga ba natin pinag-aaralan ng mga ito? At bakit mahalaga? Why are these sensory images important in literature? Okay, now, we have here an essential question. Before we proceed with our lesson, I want you to, um, how do you call this, to think of the appropriate answer for this essential question or EQ. This is our EQ. Why are sensory images important to literature? Again, why are sensory images important to literature? Bakit daw mahalaga ang pag-aaral o yung pagkakaroon ng mga sensory images sa panitikan? We will answer that later Uh, alamin natin ang kasagutan dyan. I-reserva nyo, ha? Okay. Now, sensory images is a literary device that the writers or the authors employ to engage a reader's mind on multiple levels. Sensory imagery explores the five human senses. Meron tayong sa eyes, yung sight, o yung visual na tinatawag natin, yung sa sound, or sa ating ear, or yung auditory, tama ba? Good. And also, yung ating sa, sa nose, yung smell, or tinatawag natin olfactory. Sa taste naman, sa ating tongue, it's, it's gustatory. And sa touch, ayan. <laughs> sa skin, it's tactile or tactile. Ang iba kasi, ang, ang basa nila, ang pronunciation nila is tactile. Ang iba naman is tactile, accepted naman. Okay? All right. Now, let's have it one by one. So, sa eyes, we got visual. Sa nose, we got the olfactory. Sa tongue, visatory. And sa skin, tactile or tactile. And sa ear, auditory. So, we got the visual, olfactory, gustatory, tactile or tactile, and auditory. Tandaan niyan kasi meron tayong activity maya-maya. Okay? Alright. So, isa-isahin natin. First, we got the eye. And specifically, it's the visual. What is visual? What is visual? Visual imagery describes what we see. It includes yung mga literary uh, pieces or works na comic book images, pedering paintings, or images directly experienced through the narrator's eye. So, importante na magkaroon ng sa isang, uh, specifically, ano, kapag meron tayong sumusulat ng libro, yung mga publications, dapat meron ding mga uh, drawing or visual. Pero mostly, kapag sinabi natin visual imagery, gumagamit tayo ng mga words sa ating story, sa ating poems, na merong magpapa-imagine sa ating mga readers or even viewers. Again, kapag sinabi natin sensory images, yun nga, mga words na may impact. Ano? May dating para mas maintindihan at hindi lang mas maintindihan eh but also ma-enjoy ng ating mga readers at ng ating mga audiences. Again, sensory images 
words with impact. Going back sa ating eye, ano ba yung mga words that associates with uh, our uh, visual imagery or imagery? What are those? Sige nga, only think and post visual words in the comment section. Okay, I'm waiting for your answers. Watching from SDO Valenzuela, it's Josephine Unay Apelis. Watching from PSNHS, SDO Nueva Ecija, it's Ligaya Paulo Diaz. Thank you so much po. And of course, ayan. Okay, so ano pa yung mga words na yun? Sige nga, ako muna, then later about, I will read your answers. Meron tayong uh, natawag na sa colors, yan. Alam naman natin, iba't ibang mga kulay, ano? Even patterns and also sizes. Is it big? You may indicate sa inyong story. Big, large, huge, small, squirt, like that. Shape. Okay, alam natin na iba't ibang mga shape. Rectangular, yan. So, meaning to say, we need to use, uh, how do you call it, the adjective. Yung mga words that describes. Okay? All right. So, ano ba yung mga kasagutan ninyo? Hindi ko palang makita, pero for sure, you guys are uh, typing your answers and thinking your answers and posting it here. Okay? Okay, to Janet, we got the beautiful scenery. It's Janet um, Cordero Sumbo. According to Dina, the shape is correct. According to uh, um, it's Rosana Nartates, the same as the answer of Janet. Also, uh -huh. all right, watching from Luna Elementary School, Cuyapo, West District, Rosana Nartates. Okay, mga teachers natin. SDO Paranaque, it's Mam Mercy Hugado. The Verdant Mountain. That's right. Esther Ordinario Guerrero, Verdant Dao. Very good. Dazzling. Wow. <laughs> Somewhat appealing sa eyes, di ba? All right. So, let's proceed with the next one. We got our nose. Sa nose, it's olfactory. Again, olfactory. What about olfactory? When we say olfactory, it calls to our sense of smell. Yung mga words daw that associate with the smell. Ayan. Good smell or bad smell? Example natin. We got here, she walked into the abandoned home and caught the scent of mothballs. Alam na naman natin ang amoy ng isang mothball. Is it um, an odor or fragrant? Mabango ba or mabaho? So, nandun na yun. So, uh, yung, yung word na scent, specifically mothballs, yung word na scent, alam na natin that it has something to do with olfactory. And ano pa ba yung mga words na associated with um, the olfactory imagery natin? Sige nga, kindly think and post olfactory words in the comment section now. Okay. Watching from Hustim Baste, Rimbandaman Senior High School. It's Victoria Beltran Subaran. Watching from La Union Schools Division. Wow. It's uh, Ma'am Lucrecia Amor. It's love, diba? <laughs> Clarissa Cabanban, watching from Cogorin Ibaba National High School in Lopez Quezon. Good afternoon. Ano mga answers ninyo? Think and post all factory words in this comment section. I love the sweet aroma of perfume. Wow, that's very good answer, huh? One of our teacher broadcasters, Sir Art B, A. Samson, principal po siya ng Kulobot Elementary School from SDO Tarlac, province. Very good, sir. Freshly baked cookies. The word freshly baked. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Foul smell of the garbage. You got it right, Ma'am Lucretia, Lucretia Amor. Foul smell. Odor, di ba? Aromatic. Wow. <laughs> Sarap makaamoy na mga ganyan. Aromatic. It's coming from Clovet Salas. Thank you so much po sa mga nagsagot. Now, let's proceed with the third one. From the tongue, it's gustatory or gustatory imagery. It calls our sense of taste. May panlasa pa ba? <laughs> Most common question um, na minsan na biru-biruan pero gawin natin seryoso, di ba? Nowadays because of the pandemic. Now, it is an imagery that calls our sense of taste. Example, the salty, sweet 
flavor of salt water was Linda's favorite thing about going to the beach for summer. So alam naman natin, ang gustatory doon yung words na salty or sweet. Ayan. Salt water daw ng daga. Tama ba? Alright. Sige nga, can you think of gustatory words? And post it in our comment section below. All right. Risa Mercado watching from Lara Integrated School. Watching from La Paz National High School. SDO Sambales. Good afternoon po from Aaron Spade, San Diego. Sweet sard taste of adobo. Wow. Nakakagutom naman, Ma'am Lucrecia Amor. Thank you so much for um, sharing your ideas. <laughs> Later, I will um, cook adobo. <laughs> Thank you so much po. Now, let's proceed with uh, your answers. Ano pa ba? Yeah, sweet daw. Ano ba? Sweet potato. <laughs> ano ba mga words or mga adjectives sa food na pwede nating gawin na gustatory words? Ano pa ba? Flavorful. That's correct. Ma'am Amy Grace Gorgiano. Okay. So pwede nyo rin isulat ha. You may also indicate your school name. For your school to be acknowledged. Okay? Beer sweet chocolate. Oh, there is a beer sweet chocolate pala. <laughs> All right. So, aside from those that you have given, we got, yun nga, yung mga sour, uh, ano pa ba? Bitter, ano pa ba? Uh, salty, maalat, sweet, matamis, and also even, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, ha? I'll be using the word acidic. Pwede rin ba? Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Spicy can be. All right. Good afternoon po from Virac. Spicy ang answer ni Ma'am Marites para Mio Nino. Thank you so much. Give yourself a big round of applause sa lahat ng mga nagsasagot sa atin. Watching from Garita National High School from Bunny, Pangasinan. It's Marites para Mio. Watching from Doña Aurora National High School, si Angeli Timoteo. All right. So let's proceed with the next one. All about our skin. It's the Tactile or tactile. Tactile or tactile. It is an imagery that calls to our sense of touch. Ayan. Touch by touch. Meron na naalala tayong mga songs. Na song na ganyan. Alright. Mm -hmm. So, ano pa ba yung mga words na associated with the skin or uh, touch or tactile or tactile? Sige nga, kindly comment your answers now. Watching from Lamia National High School, it's Viesca Castor Erna. Good afternoon, po. Uh huh. From, all right, from Eunice Platon. Good afternoon also to you. All right, Signa, kindly think of words associated with tactile, sensory, imagery. Okay, Signa. Okay. According to Queenie, Hand can be yes, got it right. Okay, and also, ito ano man, sister, si tutor gesture naman. Words that associates with tactile or tactile can be all about yung texture. Pwede rin nabang hindi lang texture ha. Pwede din nabang mga movement or yung natawag nating kinesthetic. Pwede rin sa action ano. Okay, and also specifically, and we're talking about skin. Yung pwede rin about temperature. So here are the words na naiisip ko. Ayan. Babalikan kita, Aimi, ha? So ito yung mga words na naiisip ko, ano? Pwedeng sticky. Yan. Downy. Hindi lang ano yan, brand, ha? When we say downy, it's banayad. Ano? Okay. Tender. Or yung soft. Hard. Smooth. Ayan. Cold. Nalalamigan. Hot. Pwede rin sa kinesthetic or yung movement. Or kinesthetic nga. Grasp or grip, pressure, ayan. All right, so Marites, your answer is smooth. Watching from Garita National High School, okay? And also gentle, where's your, uh, who answered gentle? It's Aimee Grace Garciano. Thank you so much. Stay safe from Ashley Timoteo. Okay, so let's proceed with the fifth one. We got from the ear. Pag sinabi natin ear, it's the sensory image auditory. Ayan, pandinig. Ayan. Sensory image na auditory. 
imagery that calls to our sense of hearing. It is intended to invoke up sound images in the minds of the reader. And what are those words that associate with our auditory imagery? Sige kindly comment your answers now. Okay. Ayan, watching from Munoz National High School, Rojas Isabella, it's Kyle Loreta Adna, thank you so much. Watching from Vicenta Pali, Pampanga, Elsa Linsangan, maraming salamat. Okay, so ano ba mga words na associate with auditory imagery natin? Ano nga? Sige nga? Alright. So, we got the, um, Specifically, mahilig tayo dito, music. Ayan. Uh, ano po ba? Pag may music, uh, pag may music, may noise. Pag may noise, there is a silence. Katahimikan din. Although walang tunog, pwede din accept it. Of course. Watching from Bukidno National High School, it's Jeneline Sutasio. What else? Ano pa ba? Murmuring of the brooks. You got it right, Mam Lucretia Amor. Thank you so much. Okay. Pleasant and unpleasant sound from Sir Art B. Samson. Okay. What else? Yeah. Sound here can also be ito, ha? Correct me if I'm wrong. Pero um, mapapanindigan ko to. Pwede natin gamitin ng mention. Ayan. Remark. Say. Report. Or even the word tune. Okay. Or according to Jasmine de la Cruz, soft whisper. Wow. Good answer, Jasmine de la Cruz. <laughs> okay. So, um, hmm. all right. So, before we proceed with our uh, um, activity, isa isa hinya natin yon. We got uh, yung visual, olfactory, uh, gustatory, is, uh, sa skin ay uh, tactile or tactile, auditory. Again, Visual, olfactory, gustatory, tactile or tactile, and auditory. Okay? Very good. <laughs> Loud suiting from Marites Paramillo Nino. Thank you so much. Watching from Alitagtag, Batangas, Chirping of Bird's Pop, volume that's coming from Irene Sevalia. Whisper first is already soft. Good. Ginelli Wilma. Romaguera. Thank you so much, Paul. Now, let's proceed with our activity. And our activity is this. Directions. We are to read the poem and answer the activity that follows. Again, we are to read the poem and answer the activity that follows. This is entitled, Spring is Here. Again, this poem is entitled, Spring is Here. Okay, let us begin reading. Bees are buzzing all around, collecting pollen near the ground. Warm breeze blowing on my face helps my kite soar and raise. Soft green grass tickles my feet. The smell of new flowers are very sweet. Ice cream makes my mouth feel cold. The soggy cone is hard. To hold the sights of spring are here to hold the sight of spring are here to stay what a beautiful time to be out and play again let's read it for the second time spring is here bees are buzzing all around collecting pollen near the ground warm breeze blowing on my face helps my kite soar and race soft green grass tickles my feet the smell of new flowers are very sweet ice cream makes my mouth feel cold the soggy coat is hard to hold the sights of spring are here to hold the sights of spring are here to stay what a beautiful time to be out and play so notice those words associated with sensory image images. Ano ano do yung mga words na associated with sensory images? Sige nga. Let's have our activity. Let's proceed now. 
fill in the chart using the words or phrases seen or heard in the poem. Spring is here. Meron tayong visual, olfactory, tactile or tactile, gustatory, auditory. Ano ano daw ba yung mga, what are those words that we have uh, read or seen that we might uh, um, fill in our chart per the sensory images. So, let's have it now. Sige nga, ano mga sagot ninyo? Sorry for the spelling, ha? Thank you so much for correcting. Janelli Wilma Romaguera. Salamat. So, we got buzzing for auditory. Near, visual. Meron tayong warm breeze for tactile. Soar and raise, visual. Soft for tactile. Ano pa ba? Smell of flower. Very sweet under olfactory. And ice cream for gustatory. And also there are lots of words that we have seen or heard in the palm associated with uh, sensory images. Hindi lang natin nailagay dito. Ano? Thank you so much for participating. Very active pa rin ang ating mga uh, viewers. Not only the students but also the fellow teachers and their parents. Watching from uh, uh, Doña Rosario Elementary School, James Kyle Tayong. From uh, Grade 5, Andres Bonifacio. Thank you so much. Ayan. Watching from the Milag Integrated School in Bukidnon. It's Febe or Feb Suelio. Maraming salamat. Okay. All right. So let's proceed with our next activity. This one. We are to identify what sensory images is being used in the following sentences. Ano-ano daw yung mga sensory images na ginamit sa ating pangungusap. Okay? Good afternoon to Janelli Wilma Romaguera, to uh, Queenie Angel Raquel, watching from San Jose, Antique, it's Brian Tanghia. I hope you have learned something from Sir Jester. Watching from Datu Ampunan, Laak Davao de Oro, Shini Rose Dengi. Number one, what do you think is our answer for this? The tree bark was rough against my skin. The tree bark was rough against my skin. What do you think is our answer for number one? Okay, I'm still waiting for your answer. Watching from Mandawi Cebu, it's Estelia Anore from Rome, Italy. All the way from Rome, Italy. Nanonood sa atin si, si Fortunata Echenza Capalia. Maraming salamat. Not only in the Philippines. Uh, so according to Cathy Cabato, uh, it's touch and feel. According to uh, Lucretia Amor, it's tactile. Uh, also, you're also the same answer with Mary Joy Milianes. So the correct answer is indeed tactile or tactile. Those who got it right, very good. Give yourself a big round of applause. To Fortunata, your answer is also correct. To Jasmine de la Cruz, your answer is also correct. All right. Next, we got number two. Let me read. <laughs> the familiar flavor of his grandmother's cranberry sauce reminded him his youth. The familiar flavor of his grandmother's cranberry sauce reminded him his youth. What do you think is our answer for this? Ano ba yan? Is it under visual, olfactory, gustatory, tactile or tactile, and or auditory? What is it kaya? Ayan. Okay. So according to Ashley, Timoteo, it's skin. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> According to Jasmine, is it skin? What else? Come on, people. Put in or comment your answers. To Mary Joy Milianes. Yes, you got it right. It's flavor. But what do you think is the appropriate answer? What sensory image is our answer for this? Is it all factory or all factory? Huh. <laughs> all right. What do you think is our answer for this? Gustatory, olfactory, all right. It's the taste of printed Jolina, the gupa. Ano bang sensory image pag, pag tinawag natin taste or yung 
yung uh, pinatawag nating uh, tongue. It's what? What about? It's gustatory. Okay, next, number three. The concert was so loud that her ears rang for days afterwards. The concert was so loud that her ears rang for days afterwards. Okay, what do you think is our answer for this? What sensory image? Is it visual, olfactory, gustatory, tactile or tactile, and or auditory? According to Prince, it's olfactory. According to Ashley, it's uh -huh, gustatory. According to Chona, it's gustatory also. To Sire, to, li to Lilao, to Chona, Saklet, Bara, same answer. What is our answer for this? Watching from NSCS, GSC, Express Castaneras. Auditory po. Good afternoon. Watching from Olonga po, one of our teacher broadcasters, Sir Wax Venzon. Good afternoon. What is our answer for this? Auditory, same as Maria. Maria's answer, Prince Arniel Pagio, Riz uh, Teodosio. Okay. Herlina Tagupa, same answer. And indeed, our answer for this is auditory. Those who got it right, thank you so much. Very good. Okay. All right. So next number, next item. The sunset was the most gorgeous they ever seen. The clouds were edged with pink and gold. The sunset was the most gorgeous they ever seen. The clouds were edged with pink and gold. What sensory image is this? Uh-huh. Is it auditory? Is it um, visual? Watching from Paranaque, uh, it's Perisario Vergara Maximo. Salamat po. Ayan. Auditory hearing pala. <laughs> from Herlina. Visual po, according to Lucretia Amor. Also, same answer as Mark Jester. Juanita, sorry, katukayo. Ayan. Visual, according to Juline, uh, Limon Batoon. Ayan. Also, same answer, Carolyn Alejado. Carolyn Sevalia. Visual din po, sir. Ayan. So, answer for this is indeed visual. Maraming salamat to those who got it correctly. And sa mga kamali, okay lang yan. <laughs> okay. Next number, or next item. We got number five, eating the curry is bread, reek of garlic. Ano ping word na reek? Somewhat associates with stinky, di ba? All right, so what do you think is the answer for this? Eating the curry is bread, reek of garlic. What sensory image is this? And it's olfactory, okay? Pang amoy, di ba? Siyempre, stinky eh. Pang may odor, babaho. Okay, now, going back with our essential question, why are sensory images important to literature? What do you think is our uh, appropriate answer for our EQ? Why are sensory images important to literature? Bakit daw importanteng pag-aralan? Or bakit daw importante specifically for writers and for readers itong mga sensory images? Here it goes. Creating sensory image is a strategy readers used to think more deeply about a text and also for the writers. It is when a reader combines their schema or yung background knowledge and the information in the text for creating an image in their mind. Para mapagana daw ang yung mga, yung imagination, yung creativity, yung imagination ng mga Reader. So it is really important for writers to consider sensory images in writing. Okay? And also for that, para din naman ma-enjoy ng ating mga readers ang mga literary pieces. Okay? All right. Now, before I leave, I want to leave you with this quotation. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or touched. They must be felt with the heart. That's coming from the one and only Helen Keller. 
Good afternoon to Sir Abhil Mehino, to Mam Shane, Mam Eileen, Mam Mitch, Mam Rika, Sir Antonio, and of course to Sir Edson Marina Reyes of Team E.P. Wilson. Good afternoon also to Kiel from Our Lady of Kisasa Academy in Taal, Batangas. This has been Shooter Jester. Magsama-sama po tayo next week for Choose English Day for English 9 subject. Maraming salamat po. And of course, up next, we got Shoot for Maribel. Goodbye. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Itulay Free Online Tutorial Session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Itulay Tutorial Session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippine Social Media Accounts. Paalam!